Bimulay 51, turn right, heading 183. For the second time now, in a matter of weeks, an Emirates Boeing 777 has been involved in an incident that could have very quickly resulted in a catastrophic event had it not been avoided at the last second. Your immediate reaction may be, well, incidents can happen all the time, and you'd be entirely correct there. However, the severity of an incident is always different, and of course, the nature of it being a close call sometimes is also different. For this case, the severity was increased tenfold. The incident that I speak of has been reported by the Aviation Herald, and at the moment, without a full investigation completed, we don't know all the ins and outs. However, there are specific key points to take away from the incident. To summarise, a Boeing 777-300 registered as A6-EQA with the Dubai-based carrier was accelerating down the runway, that being runway 30R of Dubai Airport, the home of Emirates, as it prepared to begin its routine flight through to Hyderabad in India. However, the crew were instructed to reject their takeoff while at a speed of above 100 knots. The reasoning for this was that another aircraft was actually crossing the very same runway. Thankfully, A6 EQA, the 777 attempting to perform the flight, was able to safely stop and then proceeded to exit the runway, departing around about 30 or so minutes later. The other aircraft in question that was cleared to cross the runway was actually another Emirates aircraft, unsurprisingly, given the location is their base of operations at the end of the day. The 777 crossing the runway was also readying for a flight. However, it was given the clearance to cross just as A6-EQA, the 777 flying to India, was beginning its takeoff roll. This took place on the 9th of January. While, of course, at the moment there is an investigation being conducted as we speak by the Dubai-based carrier Emirates, it's being taken an extra step forward as the UAE GCAA, or just more generally the General Civil Aviation Authority of the United Arab Emirates, basically the governing body for aviation in the UAE, have similar to the airline opened up a case to investigate just how this could have happened and of course how to prevent it happening from in the future. This is the second time now in a matter of weeks Emirates has avoided a major accident in a matter of weeks and it has undoubtedly seen the general public, aviation enthusiasts and those on social media question safety and decision making. There are a lot of ifs, buts and maybes to this type of event. Say, if it hadn't have been alerted in time, had the aircraft not been able to stop in time at the end of the runway and among other different things. The main takeaway from this is that everyone ended up being safe, but that does not mean the incident can simply be forgotten about. What are your thoughts without pure speculation? You can let me know down in the comment section below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.